Hello, welcome back to Dave Talks. The international break is over, everyone is happy. The biggest game of the weekend came from Anfield, Liverpool versus Manchester United in the Premier League. The game finished 0-0, but it wasn't a boring game. Tactically, very, very interesting from both sides. Anyway, let's get straight to it, let's get to the talking points. On to number one, Mourinho won Jurgen Klopp nil. I felt like Mourinho won the tactical battle at Anfield. Firstly, his use of his formation. Manchester United set up in a 4-4-2 shape or a 4-4-1-1 shape without the ball. But what was so impressive was the work rate of the two wide players. United moved to a sort of a 6-2-2 formation with the left midfielder and the right midfielder really covering their fullback. That was for one reason. Liverpool this season have created a lot of their chances through their fullbacks, with James Milner and Nathaniel Klein being the Premier League's top chance creators from defence. And you look at Nathaniel Klein and you look at the job that Ashley Young did on him. Ashley Young's inclusion was a surprise to most people, but it really made sense. Ashley Young's one of those players that will work back really hard and is very comfortable in the left black slot. You saw towards the, the start of the second half, um, made a brilliant clearance uh, at the back post, but that was a natural defensive action. In the game, Nathaniel Klein failed to create a chance for the first time this season in the Premier League, and that is credit to Ashley Young. Secondly, the next thing Mourinho got right was his use of his pressing. United against Manchester City were far too open. They were pressing in the wrong areas of the pitch. Here, Mourinho got it right. United waited, and waited until Liverpool got into the final third and then they pressed. They waited until the Liverpool central midfielders had the ball at their feet in front of the whole United back sort of eight players and then they moved up and then they pressed together and there was rotation in the pressing. Ander Herrera went ahead of Pogba at times, then Pogba would fill in. Fellaini would go ahead of Pogba and Pogba would fill in. It just worked together as a defensive unit very, very well. That moves on to the third point that Mourinho got right, and that is his narrowness of the back four. Liverpool have had such success this season from the combination of their you know, inside forwards and their, their striker. You know, Firmino looked very, very good when he moved to the number nine slot. That was because he was drifting deep into the false nine space and combining with the likes of Sado Mane and Coutinho. And that's one of Liverpool's strengths. But United coming narrow, United going man-to-man, -man, you know, the likes of Valencia first being up against Firmino and doing a very good job on him and then being up against Coutinho and also doing a very good job sticking to him, winning big tackles as well, but also covering teammates. The tackle that Valencia won on Firmino was brilliant. Then on the other side, the flip reverse, Daly Blind up against Sadio Mane, one of the Premier League's form players, the Premier League player of the month, absolutely had him in his pocket. Man marked him, pressed him at the right time, was very aggressive, but absolutely biting at his heels. It was a brilliant performance from the United back four, but also Mourinho for playing that narrow system and allowing the, the two wide midfielders to drop back and make a sort of back six in quotation marks. On to number two, and it's got to be about Ander Herrera, man of the match against Liverpool. Absolutely outstanding performance at defensive midfield. He did everything right. He pressed at the right times. He dropped back at the right times. He was aggressive at the right times. It was just a perfect display. But also in terms of getting out of the Liverpool press, it was a big thing that was made before the game. The Gagan press, pressing as soon as they've lost the ball. Ander Herrera is that perfect player to get out of the press. Similar to Paul Pogba, very good at shaking off the tackle. You look at the amount of dribbles that Ander Herrera attempted, it was five and he completed five out of five. Very, very safe with the ball at his feet. But that opened up opportunities for him to switch to play. Slip a tackle, slip the press, play the ball out wide, get United going forward. In terms of being aggressive, he attempted 16 tackles in the game, winning nine of them. So, so good. Timing was absolutely perfect, but also committed fouls in the right areas. Brilliant display in that sort of sense. And also it seemed like he'd played the game before. His reading of the play was supernatural. He made 11 interceptions in the game from defensive midfield. That's more than any player has managed in a single game in the Premier League this season. If Ander Herrera can continue this form, he's going to give United a brilliant platform from number six defensive midfield. On to number three, and that's Paul Pogba at number 10. It was a surprise for everyone to see Paul Pogba playing off Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but it's something that potentially could work very well. Paul Pogba has it in his locker to be very defensive, defensively aware. Again, he was brilliant in the game in terms of when he pressed, when he covered Ander Herrera and covered Marouane Fellaini. Airily, he was a threat. United needed to play out the press. They needed to go along in some opportunities. Paul Pogba has the size and has the ability in the air. He won seven out of his 11 aerial duels in the game. The frustrating part of Paul Pogba was when the ball was at his feet. He kept on making the wrong decision. When the forward pass was on, he'd come backwards. When the dribble was on, going on the outside, he'd come inside. It was very frustrating. He needs to learn to, instead of going 
into the tackle, trying to run away from the tackle because he has the pace and he has the legs to, and the acceleration to get away from players and create counter-attacking opportunities. I'd also like to see him drift wide more when he's playing number 10 to overload the flanks with those wide players with Martial, with Rashford, with McTierian when he comes into the side because he has the ability from those wide areas to play crosses into the box. United's best chance of the game came from a Paul Pogba cross from the right-hand side. Brilliant shift of the ball, whipped it in with pace and unfortunately Zlatanovic didn't put his header on target. That's something Paul Pogba can do. Positionally, he could work on that as well. When to run ahead of Zlatan, when to look for the knockdowns but also when to drift wide. Kevin De Bruyne is a prime example of an attacking midfield Fielder. Similar to Paul Pogba's talents that learn how to drift wide, learn how to move um, on the counter attack, and for United to improve on the break, that they can have the potential to absolutely destroy teams on the counter attack. Paul Pogba just needs to appreciate the number 10 position a little bit more, but he has the potential and he has the ability to do that. Well, that's it. That's the first uh, talking points after the international break. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to Dave Talks, and of course, go over to the Front Free YouTube channel because that is about to explode. And obviously, check out the Front Free podcast. But anyway, like the video, tell your friends about 